Hey everyone, recently I tried creating my first all Blender 3D scene. I'm used to making scenes in other software, but this was the first time I actually did it all in Blender. I've wanted to do this for a while, as I've wanted to see if it would make my workflow better, and now I can say it definitely helps doing it all on one software. However, as I'm still figuring out some things, it does slow me down quite a bit, but I can see myself quickly catching up to where I was before in terms of speed. Now as for this video, I want to take you on the journey of creating the scene and the steps I took in order to get this result. When creating new scenes, the hardest part can sometimes be coming up with the idea in the first place. So let me give you some tips that I use in order to get the creative juices flowing. First, I try picking out a topic of some sort to focus on. This can literally be anything, maybe even something you're passionate about right now. Then once I've got the topic in mind, I go to sites like Artstation or Pinterest and start collecting a bunch of images, mainly concepts that I feel connect with the topic. Once I feel like I've collected enough, I create a mood board out of these images. For this, you can use PureRef which you can download from their website. Then using this mood board, I start to experiment with different ideas that come to mind while looking at all these images. Eventually, I'll land on something that interests me and I'll take that idea to the next step. The first thing I do when creating a scene is to start by creating a block out. This way I can quickly visualize if I will actually like this scene or if I think it will turn out bad. For me, this is usually the make it or break it stage of the scene and I definitely killed off quite a lot of projects at this stage. For this block out, I start out with the road and sidewalk. I then add in the buildings. This is all temporary and allows me to quickly change the composition where I need to. I then add in some cables as these will be one of the main elements throughout the scene. After a little bit of work, we can already get a clear picture of the overall layout of the scene. At this point, I'm happy with how the scene is looking. I can already see how the later elements will fall into place. So I'm keen to move on with the scene. This really just boils down to experience and I have made a lot of 3D scenes. Now that I've completed the block out, I can now move on to building out the scene. By adding in more elements like cables, streetlights, and other assets, most of these textures and assets I have gotten from Quixel Makerscan's library, if you want to get them for yourselves. The goal now is to start making the scene feel alive and to start adding in the story of the scene. Plants in the scene will play a big part of telling the life of the scene to the viewer, so it's something we will focus on much later. After messing about in the scene, my attention is now brought to the buildings, as they are potentially one of the biggest parts of the scene. For the buildings, I keep the models fairly simple, as they will only be seen from the sides. But I want to make sure to add in some depth to the models, to at least allow for a cool lighting like highlights and shadows. I also try to add in variations to them as well, as to make them not look repetitive. With the buildings all modelled, I can start adding in more detail to the scene. I can start to replace some of the block models I left around with proper meshes. For example, I replaced the street lights with some street lamps I had in one of my libraries. I then randomly place around some AC units to the buildings and go about placing the white boxes with power boxes and more cabling. After that, I add in some pipes here and there. These assets are all in the service of making the scene feel like a real world. Now I can move on to getting serious about the plants. As of right now, I've placed some here and there throughout the scene, and now it's time to really slam it on as I want to make it seem like this place has really been let go and has become overgrown like crazy. I start by placing plants all around the top areas of the buildings, gradually making my way down to the ground. Now I need to add in something that will connect the ground area with the building plants. So I create a small amount of different types of plants that I can place throughout the scene in different ways. Now that I have plants on the ground level and on the roof level, I can now really connect the two levels and make it all seem as a whole. Just by adding the plants alone the scene comes really alive like I hoped it would. At this point I'm really liking how the scene looks, however there's something that feels off to me. I feel like the overall story so far just kind of comes off as an overgrown city, whereas I want more of a lockdown feel. To achieve this I added in chain fences going down the road and added more concrete barriers throughout the scene. With this I feel like the story I wanted to create is more realised and overall brings the piece into its final stage. And there you have it. That's how I created Socially Connected. Hopefully this video has given you some insights to take away and use them when creating your own 3D scenes. But if I miss something or you have any questions, feel free to comment them below or subscribe to the channel and come watch me live making scenes like this one and ask questions there. And if you want to purchase a print of this render, the link to it is down below. Till next time everyone.